In this video I'll demonstrate how to automate moving parts. I have a piece here that I have mated to the floor. I've also mated it down to the front edge here but offset it by 8 inches so that it's back in the location that I want it. Then it will still move across this direction. I need to go ahead and constrain it so that it doesn't. I'm going to choose constrain, leave it on the mate, select the face here, and select this wall and click OK. And so now it's stuck in that location. I can't move it. To get it to move, what I'm going to do is use the constraint that I just did, right click on it, and choose drive. Then I need to set the distance that it's going to go. So it starts at zero inches away from that wall. I want it to move three and a half inches so that it will reach the edge of the other wall. And I can push the play button. And you can see it zips across there real quick. And if I reverse it, it zips back. If I want to slow that down, I use the double arrows here. And what it's doing is it's incrementing by one inch at a time. So I can change that to 0.1. And now it will move about a tenth of the speed that it was previously. So I push play, and it goes across slower and comes back. Now if you're only doing one animation, you can use the record button here, then play, reverse it, and stop the recording for your video. I want to also show you how to do a rotation. I've got a piece here that it has a hole underneath it. Underneath it, it has a post on here that I inserted into it. So here's the insert for it. Now I'm going to add another constraint. I'm going to go to the angle, choose this first solution, the directed angle that only has two options here. I'll choose a plane that runs vertically through it, and then I'm going to match it up with the front. I'll click Apply. And then to drive this constraint, I right click on it, choose Drive. It currently would only turn 10 degrees. I want it to go around several times, so I'll put something like 1500 degrees. And if I play it, it starts to rotate. If you want to change the speed, we can do like we did before. Go to the double arrow, and let's say I want to increase it by a factor of 5. I make it 5 degrees and play, and so I get a decent spin. Again, if you want to record it, you can hit the record button, play it through, and then stop the recording. If I want both of these to be able to occur at the same time or one after the other, there's a tool that we can use if you go to environments and then select Inventor Studio. We add the animation timeline and it's a little bit like working with Movie Maker or Adobe Premiere in that I set up my movie clips while I'm doing the action similarly. Down here in the bottom right I need to expand the timeline so that I can see it. And the way I add the pieces is up through the constraints. So I choose constraint, then I'm going to come over and select the one that I wanted which was the mate here. I have it starting at zero. I needed it to go 3.5 inches and I want it to start at zero seconds and end at two. So instead of setting the rate that it happens, what I'm doing is I'm telling it it's going to take two seconds to go that 3.5. If you want it to move faster, then you do it in one second. And I click OK. I have to rewind it first. And then if I click play, you'll see it play across there. Now I want it to come back afterwards and move back the other direction. So I go back to the constraints. I select the mate again. This time I'm going from 3.5 back to 0. And I need to change it from specify that I want it to start at 2 seconds and I want it to end at 4. And click OK. Rewind it. I play. It goes across. And now it comes back. I want to add in the part that spins. So we'll expand over here so that I can see that. I go to Constrain. For my selection, I come to the angle. I'm going to set it to 1500 degrees. 
and I want it to start just slightly after the other so let's make it 0.5 and then we'll go until 4 seconds click OK rewind it back and play so it moves across then it starts spinning and comes back across and when you're done you can finish in Better Studio